Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is 2-9-2024, 8.34am right now. Welcome back to another vlog, guys. What we have planned out in today's vlog is obviously day trading. We work later in the day, but I want to go ahead and say that we do not have any gym session plan today whatever you want to call it because today is a rest day but guys the market is absolutely ripping this morning spy breaking past 500 actually hit like 501 crazy 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 guys this market is actually crazy we're gonna absolutely crush and kill the market ending this week strong guys um with that being said i'm about to go ahead and hop on the charts show you all the game plan and what i'm kind of watching out for today for trades and entries and stuff like that as also i'm um, about to go ahead and make some protein waffles and eat some eggs and maybe even a protein shake guys let's get the day started right let's kill it today and yeah guys just have a good day all right guys sorry if it's a little bit dark right now and my camera angle is kind of fucked up but um, did I really need to get some shit for my setup? Like, I need to get a ring light. I need to get, like, a, an actual, like, mount for my camera for my desk. So I don't have to use this fucking shitty-ass tripod because this shit's so annoying having to set up every morning before I get recording. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into what I'm watching today here on Spy. It's actually crazy to think that we hit 501 on Spy. Absolutely insane. This market's been crazy, guys. Um, so we go to the 30 minute really all we're watching for today is pullbacks, man I'm not gonna be chasing this when we're up this high on spy and chasing longs I feel like I, I missed out um, I'm definitely gonna be waiting for pullbacks and and for what pullback I would actually like to see guys is a pullback to previous all-time highs as I always say in my previous videos So that would be around 498.54 ish around that level if we get any, any pullback around that level and then get a nice bounce uh, a strong bounce a valid bounce around that level that would be a really really nice entry for calls and probably the best risk to reward and smartest um you know play here because we don't we do not want to be chasing and we also want to be staying patient so that's just pretty much what we're watching on spy today and also is uh, also on qqq i mean it's really not anything crazy we're at all-time highs we're kind of in discovery mode um discovering levels above playing um playing it as best as we can but yeah so here's what we got here on qqq as well um same sort of thing on spy i'm literally just waiting for pull axe maybe to this previous all-time highs i said look for a valid bounce around this level for possible long opportunities play calls um, boom best risk to reward safest smartest patient most patient play here guys it's gonna be the smartest play in my uh, i think in my eyes um, I couldn't really see us. I mean, maybe a long off this as well. This 433.54. Look for a possible pullback to this level here. Look for a valid bounce and hold. Look for longs. Um, you know, I'm definitely gonna be waiting for pullbacks today here. I'm not gonna be chasing anything um, that's you know up high or anything like that, because then if it pulls back, you take a fat ass loss. Um, IWM actually had a decent move yesterday. I don't know if I mentioned IWM yesterday in my video, if you guys watched it. But yeah, IWM actually had a, a pretty good bounce off this uh, support and demand level. I didn't even catch any of it, unfortunately. But yeah, we had a, we had a pretty nice rip there on IWM yesterday. So what I'm watching here for... Uh, what I'm looking out here for today on IWM... Let me go to like the 30-day chart. Um... As we have a pretty big supply and resistance zone up and around this whole area around here, around 198.82 to like almost 200-ish. So I'm either going to be looking for strong rejections off the zone, look for shorts, or look for a strong break and hold above the zone for longs. That's literally all we're going to be watching out for today. It's pretty simple, guys. Obviously, I do have some other key factors and confluences. Before getting me into a trade and making the trade considered an A-plus setup, you already know. I already say that in all my previous videos. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all we're watching today, guys. Um, just these key levels here on IWM and how the market reacts to it. And we're just going to be waiting, staying patient for a valid A-plus setup for that key price action, for those VWAP breaks, reclaims, all that good stuff, guys. Um, yeah, don't have anything else to say here, guys. We're going to absolutely crush and kill the market today. It's about 8, almost 8.50 a.m. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and make some coffee, get something to eat, get my mental in the right place, get locked in, get focused, and crush and kill the market today, and just have the best possible Friday ever, guys. So, um, yeah, I probably won't update you guys again before market opens. Um, I'll update you guys throughout the day if we take any trades or see any potential setups. As I said, let's kill it, guys. Hey, guys, it's about 10.09 a.m. right now. I do have a little bit of an update for you guys, and I did take a loss on SPY, man. Um, I'm going to go show you guys what I was seeing here on SPY. Um, 
what I was seeing here on SPY is us, you know, what I was saying pre-market, coming back down, getting that pullback, staying patient for that pullback, and getting that uh, that bounce off that previous um, all-time high here on SPY. And then when I seen us closing this five-minute candle above VWAP, which, I mean, I, I mean, it's pretty valid in my opinion. We, I mean, we had some decent buying pressure and momentum coming into the market. I mean, sorry, we actually haven't been having the best price action coming into the market this morning. Kind of it's been low volume chopping around. So this might not have been the best trade. And uh, but yeah, we took a loss, man, on, on SPY, unfortunately. That's what I seen, though. Us bouncing off this previous all time high, closing um, this candle above VWAP. And that was pretty much it, man. Actually, did kind of miss out on a, uh, a play here on QQQ. Um, I was looking at calls when we were bouncing around that same almost previous high. Same thing on SPY, but on QQQ. And closing some uh, five minute candles above VWAP. Unfortunately, I never got an entry. I probably would have made 30, 40%, but you know, should have, could have, would have. Doesn't matter unless, you know, we actually took the trade. Doesn't matter at all, guys. 10 10 a.m. took a loss on the account. It was a pretty decent loss, too. I think I'm down like a percent or something on the account. So we'll maybe take one more trade today if we really, really see something we like. But it's already 10 10 a.m. and we've already taken a loss. And we've already pretty much might be done for the day if the market continues to trade like this and we don't really see an A plus setup. So and it's unfortunate, but it's trading, man. Um, learn from the loss, journaled it down, and I'll keep you guys updated. Yo, I kind of forgot that I need to be giving you guys an update. I'm a dumbass. It's about 12, almost 1, almost 1 p.m. right now. Um, look at QQQ, guys. Look at QQQ. I don't know why I did not take calls on QQQ this morning. Um, as I was saying pre-market about that all -time, previous all-time high level and us getting a bounce around it, it would be a perfect long opportunity for calls. I have no clue why I chose to take calls on SPY over QQQ. QQQ has just been moving so much better, like this whole year. Um, I don't, I don't know why I chose QQ or sorry, SPY calls over QQQ calls, but it's all good. I mean, after that, throughout the day, we pretty much just been having not really the best price action, as you can see. I mean, no crazy moves, no real like setups that I'm really confident in, and I really just should have taken it, dude. If we would have taken these calls right above VWAP. That would have been almost a 200% move, I'm pretty sure. It, I mean, those cons went, they, they went, they went pretty well. But um, yeah, that's all for now, guys. I'm sorry I did not give you guys an update earlier. Went ahead, took a shower. I'm about to get ahead, get something to eat. It's very, very nice outside. I honestly might just stay away from the market. I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on the market, but not, you know, sitting at my setup, like staring at this thing. I'll definitely uh, check on it, uh, check in on it every once in a while. But I'll definitely be giving you guys an update before I leave for work at around 2.30 p.m., um, so yeah, guys, we so are red on the account today. It's all right. Um, small red day. You didn't have the best week this week, to be honest. We do have two green days this week, but, um, I think we're almost maybe at a break even on this week. And we might be down a little bit on this week, which sucks. Didn't have the best week, but we made some stupid decisions. We've got things to learn from this week. And, you know, next week's always another week and another week to bounce back on the account. Okay, guys, it's about almost 2 p.m. right now. That's actually going to be it for the market today. Got to leave for work in about 30 minutes. With that being said, we unfortunately did end the red day on a red day. Down about 1.3%, I think, on my account. But as you can see, QQQ has really been making um, new all-time highs all day. It's crazy to me that I even took um, spy calls over QQQ. Just knowing and trading QQQ this year, just knowing how much better QQQ has been moving than spy. Um, you know, those QQQ uh, calls would have been no brainer, bro. We literally would have been in them at like 950, bro. And I'm not going to say we would have caught this whole move. Definitely wouldn't have caught this whole move. I definitely would have sold it here before here, but we still would have caught a nice win here on QQQ calls. Unfortunate guys, but, um, I'm going to use this weekend to reset, reflect, and just continue to study and learn all that good stuff, guys. Next week's a new week. We got a whole trading week next week. It's going to be the next week, the next week, the next week. Um, I really wasn't too worried about you know, forcing any trades today. Wasn't really feeling in the mood to trade today. Um, you know, I was, I was checking in on the charts every here and there. Uh, sorry. I was checking in on the charts every here and there, but I wasn't like just sitting at my desk all day, just, you know, staring at the charts every second of the day. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, that's all really all I got to say right now. Um, I'll probably update you guys once we get to work. So I'll see you guys then. Okay. I actually haven't given you guys an update in a minute. I do apologize about that. I didn't even give you guys an update when I got to work. And the reason uh, being because of that, I'm not even making an excuse, is because I had like <laughs> so many people just like parked near me in their cars and like I didn't want to like pick up their camera and like record or whatever. But yeah, man, it's already about 
11.20 p.m. It's been a minute since I picked up the camera. Um, I got home from work around 10.15, made some food. Right now we are reviewing the one loss we took today and also um, we're probably going to, maybe we'll do this tonight. Maybe we'll also go over all the trades we took this week and really get in a good understanding of why we had a actual red week this week. I'm keeping it 100% transparent on this channel and this journey. There's no reason for me to lie to you guys and be like, yeah, we had a, we killed it this week. Nah, bro, I had a red week this week, bro, unfortunately. And I, I can already go ahead and tell you the main reason being is probably because of emotions and stuff like that. I just got way too emotional this week and took dumb setups, um, stuff like that. I'm, I'll probably maybe talk more about it later. I'm not going to talk on it too much right now. But uh, yeah, guys, I'll update you guys in a little bit because I'm not going to be going to bed yet. We're going to be grinding. Um, I want to get this figured out because I want it that bad. And I know next week we can bounce back and have a green week. And honestly, it wasn't that big of a red week this week. We kind of kept it smaller, which I'm also proud and happy about. But we definitely did have a green week, this, or red week this week, sorry. Um, so, yeah, got stuff to work on. Always room to improve with trading. Um, it's all good, guys. We're just going to make next week better and stuff like that. So I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, well, obviously, I did not keep you guys updated. Went ahead and actually did some more uh, back testing, some reviewing, all that good stuff before I went to bed. Sorry I did not pick up the camera again before I went to bed. I feel like this vlog was a little bit more, like, scuffed and not put together well as it should have been i'm sorry about that guys but that is obviously going to be it for the video guys if you did enjoy make sure that like and subscribe button um and yeah we're gonna crush it next week it's actually saturday right now when i'm getting this wrapped up um next week if you made it to the end of the video i'm actually might be switching my strategy up a little bit same still same strategy just trading off higher time frames i feel like it'll be less stressful and i'll have much better quality setups stuff like that i've been doing some back testing i've been doing pretty well with it so that's what we're going to start out with next week guys all i really got to say right now um thanks again for watching make sure that like and subscribe button if you guys enjoyed and as always i'll catch you guys in the next one peace